Hey guys, I uh, just want to talk to you about uh, earwax or impacted serum. Um, it's pretty annoying, bothers everyone. Uh, so I'm just going to describe it and tell you how to treat it basically. Uh, impacted serum is just uh, medical lingo for earwax. Uh, purpose of earwax does have a purpose besides annoying the heck out of you. Uh, protect your ear, prevent infection and damage uh, to your ear canal, your eardrum. Um, a lot of things can cause it. Uh, the most likely uh, combination of things is narrow ear canal, bad hygiene or an ear cleaning habits. Uh, your ear can make too much wax and then that wax and that ear canal can actually change as you get older. Uh, symptoms would be uh, decreased hearing, uh, pain, raining noise, and a sensation of blocked or plugged ear. Pretty straightforward. Treating earwax is actually pretty easy. Uh, you can definitely do it at home um, and only go to the doctor if the things I'm about to tell you don't work. But one thing I want to mention before you start is that you should definitely not use Q-tips ever. Uh, when you pull the Q-tip out, it might have some wax on it, but when you're pushing it in, you're uh, driving that earwax deeper into your ear canal and just making the problem worse in the long run. So, no Q-tips. Um, so, three options that you can use right now at home to uh, treat your annoying earwax and pain and loss of hearing and whatever is uh, the first one is you want to use the earwax softener and that uh, most commonly is called uh, Debrox. I have some right here and uh, it's like five bucks over the counter right at your local pharmacy. Uh, the instruction manual will tell you how to use it but you basically just put the drops in your ear. Uh, this will loosen it up, make it fall out much easier. Second thing is to uh, actually, when you're in the shower, have the shower head pointed at your ear like this, let the hot water come in, and that can help relieve uh, the wax and then loosen it up as well. Excuse me. So uh, right at the 90 degree angle, uh, you don't want it too hot, you don't want the water pressure too high, but if it's, uh, you know, use your judgment, but it's pretty straightforward, that will help. And then the third thing, uh, actually the best thing, is this thing, which is a special nozzle. Uh, I got it off Amazon. You stick this end in your ear, you fill this up with water, and you squirt it out. It's pretty straightforward. Um, fill it up with uh, lukewarm water. I advise that you use it in the shower just because the uh, it's kind of messy. So do that in the shower. Um, and that's basically what they do in the doctor's office. If you go in to see your doctor, they're going to tell you to use the Debrox. And if you've already used that, they're going to try squirting that stuff in your ear. They have a different thing and they charge you money for it. So might as well buy that uh, online and get rid on Amazon. Uh, and save yourself some money and then obviously just as a disclaimer if none of this works and it doesn't get better or fail or you know or gets worse you need to go see your doctor